So today we are making a step-by-step -step tutorial on making your first deposit on BlockFi so that you could start turning that crypto that you're holding into some passive income. So not only are you going to be making those juicy, juicy moon gains from holding your crypto, but now you're also going to be making more crypto just by holding it. You guys ready to make some passive income? Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to make you guys profitable and successful traders. If you guys are new here and it's your first time on this channel, the goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to take you guys to the next level. So guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post a video every single day. So let's jump right in. Today's video, we're talking about BlockFi. We did a review on it last week and then this week we are covering a tutorial on how to make your first deposit if you're interested in making some passive income while holding your crypto. All right, guys. So first of all, you guys need to have a BlockFi account. If you guys have not registered for one yet, just go to the description in this video and hit the link for BlockFi. By using our referral link in the description, you guys will get up to $250 initial deposit bonus when you use it. All right, so after registering, you should come up on this exact page. It's your account summary. It should tell you your dollar value of your crypto if you have any in it. If you don't, then it should say zero. And then you'll see you know all this fun stuff down here but don't worry about all that what you should be focused on is on your interest account all you got to do here is go ahead and hit this button right here boom and it will take you to your interest account so now now you got to decide if you want to put in bitcoin ethereum GUSD, Litecoin, PAX, PAXG, or USDC. So you could go through here and as you click on them, you will see down here that it tells you your annual percentage yield, right? So you can see Bitcoin is 6%, Ethereum is 5.25%, GUSD is 8.6%. Now the thing with these that are higher, like the GUSD, PAX, and USDC, these are stable coins, right? So they're pegged to the dollar. So even though it has a higher annual percentage yield, remember that these don't move up and down with Bitcoin or any other crypto. They just, they're just pegged to the dollar, right? So if you wanna be in cash and you, you have a percentage of your portfolio that's just sitting in cash, this is an amazing, amazing way to hold that cash. Just collect 8.6% return yearly on that cash as you're holding it uh, as you're waiting to maybe for a dip to throw it into the next dip uh into bitcoin ethereum or any other cryptos right this is actually the the average percentage yield of the s p 500 as well in the stock market so the s p 500 over the last 50 years or so has returned on average around eight percent returns per year so the same way you could put your money in the stock market, you could put your money right here in any of these stable coins and earn just about the same amount of percent per year, right? So the whole idea here is just to not keep your money in a savings account or in a cash account because then you're going to be losing money, right? You're going to remember the the inflation rate is that it's highs in the, like the past five years or something like that over 2%. So you're going to be losing 2% on your money year over year if you just keep your money in a savings account or a cash account. Remember we spoke about the high yield online savings account and the best one was 0.65% per year. 0.65. So if you have $1000, you'll get $6.50 to hold your account in a high yield savings account. If you have $10,000, you'll make $65 in one year. So you wanna avoid savings accounts at all costs. So once you decide which crypto you would like to deposit in here, we, we're going to deposit 
some Ethereum. As you guys can see, where we have about a thousand, almost two thousand in Bitcoin. So we're gonna load up our Ethereum account with some more Ethereum, and we're gonna also do Bitcoin, but uh, where we're transferring our Bitcoin from, uh, we're transferring it over from Bybit. So because of that, it takes they only they only do deposits or transfers every few hours. So we're going to transfer Ethereum from a different wallet that should hopefully be faster. All right. So once you figure out what crypto you would like to deposit, then you just go right on over right here and hit deposit. Right. So now this gives you your Ethereum for us is going to be the Ethereum wallet. Make sure that that you guys are depositing the same crypto into the same wallet so don't try to deposit bitcoin into an ethereum address or ethereum into a bitcoin address because if you guys send anything like that your crypto will be lost forever so go ahead and copy the wallet address here and then you're gonna go to whatever wherever other wallet you're transferring your crypto from go to that wallet and you have to transfer it from there to here all right so for us we're transferring from uh, the Gemini exchange, as you guys can see here, we hit uh, transfer funds, then we went to withdraw from Gemini, we chose ETH, um, then we put in our address to make sure we have our address correct. Let's let's double check it just to be safe. Let me go over here. Da -da -da. Yep, looks good, looks good. Yep, everything looks good. So now we're gonna take out uh, five Ethereum is what we're gonna do. Then we're going to go in ahead and hit continue. As you guys can see, it puts here the date, the amount, where it's from, to now we're going to request withdraw. So, of course, we have a lot of security measures on our account. So, we have to approve this transfer on our phone. Boom, it has been approved now. All right, so I had to approve it again. So, let's go ahead and hit the withdraw again. Let's um, approve it again and let's see if it goes through this time. Request approved. You have transferred five ETH to the wallet. All right, perfect. So and now I just got an email saying that the withdrawal has been confirmed. So now at this point is just about waiting. So we're just going to wait, but we won't make you guys wait. We'll speed this process up for you. All right, guys. So I just got an email from BlockFi saying that your deposit has been initiated, um, saying that they received five Ethereum and these funds will be available to use at BlockFi after they have 12 confirmations on the Ethereum blockchain network, which should approximately take about 30 minutes or so. Right. So let's refresh here to see if we can see it here already. Let's go ahead and hit that refresh button. And uh, if we click on Ethereum and go down, you guys can see that it is currently pending, right? So we see here that now that this is currently pending. So now we just wait for this to go through. Once this transaction goes through, then it will be ready to go, right? So guys, while we're waiting on this transaction to go through, if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that sub button, guys. We're on our way to 5,000 subs, currently at around 4,200. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video and you have found value in this video, make sure to please hit that like button and drop a comment if you have any questions about anything at all that we've gone over so far in this video. The likes help us to continue to reach more and more new people and new potential subscribers to keep growing this channel as we make our way to crypto takeover on YouTube, right? <laughs> so let's dive right back in. So guys, I just got an email from BlockFi saying that the transaction is confirmed. So let's go back on our browser and hit refresh and let's see if it's true and there we go guys you guys now see that my ethereum balance is up to 5.14 it is now here the deposit you can see here that it says deposit so that means the deposit has gone through and that's it that that's how easy how simple it is to make a deposit and to start earning interest on your interest account. So now I basically have, as you guys can see here, $8,463 in this account, this interest bearing account. And I'm going to be getting a return of 5.25% annually, right? So per year. So let's do some quick math. So let's punch in the numbers 8463 times 
6.25 percent equals 444 dollars and 30 cents guys that is what what i will be earning passively by just by holding ethereum and i'm going to make basically more ethereum right so because remember i'm getting paid this interest in ethereum so by just by holding ethereum i'm also making more ethereum passively without without doing anything so let's open up a compound interest calculator right so i put my initial deposit 84.63 for monthly uh contributions i'm gonna just put zero for now i just want to get the basic idea investment time span sure let's leave it four years i mean five years and then estimated rate of return 5.25 percent right so it's going to be the frequency i'm gonna leave it on monthly and as you guys can see in the next five years this would turn into about ten thousand eleven thousand dollars right earning twenty five hundred dollars of that in interest so if you start to scale this number up let's say 10 years now we're talking fourteen thousand dollars that's about fifty eight hundred dollars in interest and if you continue to scale up let's say 20 years now we're talking twenty four thousand dollars about fifteen thousand dollars in interest so you guys can easily see how over time this compounds over and over and over again with just and this is without me putting anything else into it right this is without me calculating what the growth of ethereum is going to be just by me holding it so this is just with this initial deposit, right? And this is assuming that over the next few years, my amount would stay the same. The value of my Ethereum would stay the same, right? Now let's say that we decide to do $100 a week into Ethereum, into our Ethereum interest bearing account on BlockFi, right? So $100 a week, let's say it's $400 a month. And now when you look at this number, look at this guys, now we're talking, it went from where it was before let's go back to nothing right so without putting anything in we're talking forty thousand dollars your eight thousand will turn into forty thousand in the next 30 years right now if we change this to a hundred dollars a week or four hundred a month that 40 turns into basically 10x right so now we're talking almost half a million dollars over a quarter million dollars three hundred and ninety one thousand dollars and of course 30 years is a long time guys this is a long-term game but even if you put 20 years you, you know you're almost at a quarter mil there it'll take about 13 years to get to six figures to get to 100,000 um, in 10 years you should be around 77 and five years you should be around 38 right and this whole time remember we're not even we're assuming that the value of ethereum doesn't is not going up so imagine, where do you think the value of Ethereum is going to be in the next five years, right? Right now, it's currently at around 1600. So if you believe that the value of Ethereum is also going to 10x within the next five years, basically, you're grabbing this this number 38,000 and you're going to 10 exit at that point, right? So 38,000 times 10 equals three hundred and eighty thousand dollars guys that's the possibility in the next five years by just holding ethereum in an interest bearing account this eight thousand dollars could potentially turn into three hundred and eighty thousand dollars right and of course this is assuming that we're making a hundred dollars we're averaging in dollar cost averaging in a hundred dollars every single week into ethereum into our interest bearing account and assuming a five-year uh, time span and a 5.25 percent uh, rate of return annually just for holding it so guys that is how you make dividends by holding cryptocurrencies and you could do this like i said on blockfi with bitcoin ethereum uh litecoin pax gold or you could even hold the usd coins and they pay up to 8.6 percent annually alrighty guys that is it for this tutorial i hope you guys were able to follow it and found some value in this if you did please go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys make sure to like this video and if you have any questions at all about how blockfi works make sure to drop it in the comments and i will try to answer you if i have the answer for you guys all right guys that's it i'm out of here as always peace and love